Well, welcome back to NRM 435 GIS Analysis at the University of Alaska, Fairbanks. In this application, we have a table of mileage where there's culverts along a road. And then we have a line feature class of roads that are measured in miles. And then another line feature class of streams. So these streams basically go through the culverts to go underneath the roads. So the streams and the road feature class have coordinates in meters, and the road is already measured in miles. So what we need to do is establish what stream is flowing into each culvert. So for example, culvert 38 might be flowing at mileage 7.35. Okay, so what we wanna do is create a table for every culvert what is the mileage on the road where the culvert's located? What's the stream that serves that culvert? And what's the name of the stream? So the first step will be from our culvert mileage table, create a point in our measured line. So we have polyline M, it's measured, and it's measured in miles. So to do that, we can use the geoprocessing tool make route event layer. But in order to use this tool, we have to link up the road ID with the same value in our culvert table. So we'll have to add a field to our culvert table and then assign the road ID that's the appropriate road ID. So in this case, all culverts are in road 98. So then we can use the tool make route event layer to locate those culverts along the road. So that results in a virtual point layer. I named it culvert locations on road. So for example, our first culvert, culvert number 38 is at mile 7.35. The next culvert at mile 7.42. The next culvert at mile 12.59, etc. So this is a virtual layer. So let's save it to our geo database using the copy features tool. So we have our permanent points in our geo database culverts on road. So are they sitting at a location on a streamline? So we could use select by location. So our target is our culverts on our roads. Do they intersect with streams and apply? and they do intersect with streams. So we can use either, so I use a spatial join tool and we get a join count of one. So for every culvert, it found the closest stream. And then we have all the information we need. So for example, here's culvert 40 and it's at mileage 12.59 and it's crossing the Chikina Creek. So we'll label our creeks and we'll hatch our roads to double check this result. We'll label our streams with the field name and we'll hatch our road every mile with a red cross marker. And we'll label what the mile is at each of these cross markers. So once again, it checks out. So here's culvert 40 at mile 12.6. So mile 12, mile 13, that would be mile 12.6. And it does cross the culvert serves the Jakina Creek at that location.